Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, allegedly, to Fun Day Monday, where we are not learning to be a better gamer, we are dicking around. We didn't talk about anything with any coherent through line whatsoever, so let's watch another damn game. Boom. I'm still in the frame. Alright, well. Do I, do I look like this? That's Sver, up there. Uh, over here. It's, it's Jake. We also have Rastafarian, and uh, well, it's actually MLG. It's the whole company. Only Jesus can cure you of your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten curse words. Itty. Well, I don't know. I don't exactly know what what that is. do you know a ten syllable curse word? I'm not I'm not entirely positive. But here we have we have Carcane. Carcane the Great Sten Mason God, I can't even handle my face there. That is just that is egregious. Oh my god, it's SRJC name haver. Uh, oh, oh, I see what he was saying. No, he can't. Dude, see, I don't even know. I don't even know, but I think I know because of chat. <laughs> Jacket. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Jacket tried. He tried super hard. Ran into a wall. Blapsmers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had to go to the doctor and get checked, and he gave he gave me a blap smear. Oh, oh my God! So many blap smears. Shall rot in eternal heel for sinning against God and scientific nature. Scientific butts. There we go, Carcane. Talk a little bit about butts. Blaps me. Science is a part of God's plan. Carcane is rocking out hard. He's only allowed to build medevacs. Sten's only allowed to build medevacs. Mason's only allowed to build medevacs. And, uh... And Jock, <laughs> wait, he left the game. Oh. <laughs> oh man, blap smears. There were so many blap smears in this game. I like the idea that Jocka was actually sincere at heart. He joins the game and just needs to yell at strangers about blap smearing. And then he just leaves. And, you know. I think that in uh, most Christian texts, if you leave a game right at the very start, you're not going to go to hell. But you are kind of an asshole. If you went to a confession and you're like, Father, I have, uh, I've sinned. I was in a 4v4 and I got mad at the 3 minute and 35 second and just abandoned my team. The priest would be like, dude, just wow, don't do that. Just stay in the game, man. What? what? Put on some music. Do you have a second monitor? Put something on your second monitor, man. Come on. I went AFK according to God's plans toward blap smearing. <laughs> he is. Oh yeah, was that? I think it was Deuteronomy fourteen uh, verse twenty-eight that said, uh, "Don't fucking leave a four v four at the three minute mark." I think that's what it said. All right, so MLG has apparently been uh, in the day nine school of building all the bases that you can. There we go. This is oh so good. Expand, 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 expand as fast as you can. 
All right, Name Haver is going for Spire. Ooh, I like it. Those Spire units can get healed by those Medivacs. Factory's coming up. Everyone's moving out. Now, as we see from MLG, who I gotta say is my favorite player right now. Also, let me just throw out there that you should totally go to MLG Anaheim. Just throwing that out there. Just totally, just, uh, just off the top of my head. Don't know why the thought floated in there. Just want to throw that out to you. Look at this. All the expos, all the bases, all the owning newbie faces. It's a 3v4, but it's somehow fair, because this team can only build medevacs. Rushing for medevacs. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god! Oh, it's a puppy marine! Looks like we got factories, begetting more factories, begetting starports. Name haver. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Gotta go get the blab smears. Perfect. Rewounding. High sec auto tracking critical component. I really think that at this phase in the game, nothing's really too out of the ordinary. Rastafarian uh, is getting some void rays. MLG might be getting some void rays. But Mutilus coming up. Oh, MLG is about to play the most dangerous game. That's really the best part of doing the quintuple expand at the start of the game. Four base every single time. You wind up in the most tense of economies. This base is gone. Quickly, rebuild the probes. Rebuild at MLG. <laughs> you ever seen Chrono Boost and Medivacs following around some mutalisks? Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now here's a situation where the mutalisk would generally run. One mutalisk falls, but... And then, oh yeah. If you didn't know, the medevac can only heal one unit at a time. I messed up, I know that you know that. One unit may only be healed by one medevac at a time. So though it might seem compelling to go Medivac Ultralisk, no such composition will be effective. Because you'll just have a bunch of Medivacs doing nothing. Healing the broodlings that fall to the ground of your soon-to-be-destroyed bases. But if you have a mid-range pack of units, the Roach, the Idralisk, the Mutalisk, Wait, no, it's this one. Man. Is it, am I doing it right? Oh. Somebody call Jaeger Bomb. Name Haver is gonna just kill everything. He's got the delightfully wonderful Mutalisk Medivac mixture. In the unit count, we see three medevacs, four medevacs, and twelve mutalisks. SCVs, 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 not a lot of drones. Zerg's getting all his moolah from Deterrence. One player at a time in the worker's lost tab, it's pretty much gruesome. Every worker, every which way, everywhere is gone. Every base has been eviscerated by the name haver himself. And Mason commits a mistake. A misstep, an error, something that he shouldn't have done! He's talking about how Monday it feels before he's got the win. Ugh. But the V button works. Rastafarian, MLG, V and X, it's all you need. In the meanwhile, look at how many red bases there are. MLG continues to just take the gas, and the gas, and the gas, and the gas! So many in the gas. MLG just loves units in the gas. <laughs> God, it is amazing how childish I am. Carcane, building so many turrets to fend off the soon-to-be indestructo void ray army. 
You know, it still blows my mind. It's always void rays, and it's never carriers. It's never, ever, 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 ever carriers. Carcane. Looking for new bases to take. We got these four medevacs backed up. God, there's a lot of medevacs here. We got four mutalisks leading the charge. Oh yes, we have four spearsmen and twelve shieldsmen. All we have to do is protect the spearsmen. At this point in the game, I would imagine that uh, team Team Carcane Mason Sten name haver would be in the advantageous position. As we can see in production, there's a whole bunch of crud happening. A whole bunch of indescribable, unexplainable crud. But it turns out that five mutilists can't take on 20-some marines and a handful of phoenixes. Oh god, Mason, get out of there. No, don't turn around! Ah! Ah! And there it is. Name Haver has sent Zerglings into the foray. And a real fight begins. As much as Fun Day Monday is about dicking around, Team Carcane Sten Mason, name Haver, are at the beginnings of an epic match. Slow Zerglings, you don't see that every day, but we're seeing it today because it's Monday. And all bets are off. A pair of Mutalisks reinforced by, it looks like a, wow, a, a sextuplet of Corruptors and a veritable dodecahedron of medevacs. Will they be able to fend off the Protoss Skymite? Oh. Oh. Selecting buildings while there's void rays nearby is probably one of my favorite activities. It's like watching things get blown up in slow motion. My god, it still moves so fast, even at a thousand frames per second. Have they even used the prismatic alignment? They haven't. This is the pure strength of these void rays in their natural habitat. A nice rally exploitative command center. Those slow zerglings from Main Haver are beginning to take out the bottom left side, but they gotta do it fast because this is an army consisting of 14 and 16, that's 30 void rays, 13 phoenixes, no partridges, just void rays. We were going to get the partridge in the pear tree, but the song's a lot easier if it's just like, On the 30th day of Christmas my true love gave to me 30 void rays. On the 31st day of Christmas my true love gave to me 31 void rays. The syllables might be missing, but it's a song that allows you to have Christmas every day of the year in which you're a 4v4-er by the name of MLG. Structure's falling quickly, turret's going... Getting it up. <laughs> well, he's starting to slowly work his way through. Right now, it looks like there's only 25 void rays. 24, 23. Keeping it low, that's it. Yes, I love it, Carcane. Rally ho! Down it goes. Zergling's beginning to overwhelm. Jaka! The husk of the man who doesn't believe in blap smearing. No longer has any forces to boot. And now here is the moment of truth. It's 20 corruptors plus 6 medevacs and 9 medevacs and 2 medevacs. That's 17 medevacs. Versus 18 void rays. Let me... Here we go. Okay, wait, look. I need to be here for this. Come here. Here we go. 
Prepare to math. Okay. So let's do this, right? We have 250 times 18. That's 4,500 minerals. And uh, we also have 150 times 18. 2,700. 4,500, 2,700. Corruptors. Plus 17 times. No, never mind. No, never. Everything's okay. Everything, everything is fine. I, w I went to math and everything is just is just totally okay. Totally, it's fine. I accidentally did uh, 200 minerals when it should have been 250 for these fine guys because I was adding in the cost of the medevac. Either way, the important thing is that Void Rays are way better than Corruptors, okay? Corrupt, they did not. Never try to do math on air. Don't even try to do math with a calculator on air. That's what I'm talking about, man. Don't do math on air. Never do crystal math. You know, here's what I thought was going to happen. We were going to add up the Void Ray number, and it was going to be way less than the Corruptor Medivac number. I'm talking, like, way less. And then I mistyped, and then I realized that, no, no, they're pretty close. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God, my bad. However, Rastafarian is still slamming in. Couple Zerglings still making their way forward. In the meantime, Rastafarian, avoiding doing any math, is just holding down the shift button and building a bunch of shit. An effective method. One that will be used for generations to come. I don't know, just queue up. I don't know. I don't know. Somehow, this is now the HGTV special trading basis. Where everything's really getting exchanged in this, that, the other way, every which way. In the unit count, we see if at first you don't succeed, void ray, void ray, void ray, void ray. If you need me, I'll be void ray, void ray, void ray, void ray. Will he hit the E button? It looks like no, he's not even going to supercharge and he's going to super still kill absolutely everything. Sten, I absolutely love it. Uh oh. Sten, I don't like it, Sten. Get the hell out of there, Sten. Sten, Sten, Sten. Stenny, Sten, Sten. And the Mutalisks don't do anything in the fight. <laughs> he's still not using E, and he's just roasting these Corruptors like he's nothing. Zerglings continue to eliminate every expansion. I really think the Zerglings are the MVPs in this match. Rastafarian. Beginning to break... Not quite. <laughs> Zerglings move in. Zerglings assault. It will never be the Terran Zver's fault. More corruptors incoming. 17 corruptors. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Name Haver, the only man that can build any units. And where will he go? Oh, I think he knows. Uh, uh, yeah, yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed, sir. Oh, wonderful. In the meantime, it's only Void Rays from MLG. He's got 18 of those puppies on the map. Got 23 probes, which is about as many as he's ever had, despite being on five bases. MLG. Trying to defend. MVP Zergling's not going to let it happen. More command centers going down for Sten. Desperately dumping as much money as he can. The game's still ongoing. The move's still on flowing. Number of expansions is outgoing. 85 workers. Wow, Rastafarian needs to get on his mining game. Action is happening at all corners of the map. The Medivac Corruptor Force is about to go up against 40 Void Rays. 40 Void Rays, that's... 
Oh, a thousand mineral gases worth of void rays. Carcane gives a hello. As these Terran players, vigilant, aggressive about their planetary fortress attacks. Intending to inflict, do, deal, and cause as much damage as humanly possible. Corruptor Hydralisk. As anti-Void Ray a force as there could ever be. Is anyone using Prismatic Alignment? No. Not a chance. Does it matter? No. In no way does it matter. I totally get why people build only this unit now. It works really, really well. 22 at the start, 22 at the end. Will it blend? Who cares? Build Void Rays until it blends. Sten's Planetary Ing worked. More bases continuing to float out. Trying to lock out the enemies. Void Rays make short work of all the things. And got him! Oh my god, dat 30 minute Hydra switch. 30 minute Hydra's corruptors. What a dud unit. What a dud unit. A lot of good those did. I love these offensive turret placements from Carcane, who's just trying to snipe off. Any unsuspecting void rays that get caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Couple Zerglings getting eliminated. But Namehaver, with the state, with it in itness, has broken through. Yes. Success and victory is his. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, lift and run now, Sver. Oh my god, Rastafarian departs from the game. MLG has left the game, and the only man who didn't build Void Rays the entire time has left the game. It's a pretty sexy game. Also, it glistens. It glistens in the lights. Hydra's totally saved esports. Ah, yeah, that's a great point from Von Kampf. Uh, you know, after that game, it makes me so excited that uh, at E3, Blizzard announced that the Scourge would be coming back. I'm really thrilled to see what pans out from that. Um, really cool. Also cool that, uh, you know, StarCraft Ghost is coming back as a... Uh, free-to-play, casual-focused sim game for mobile and tablet and tablet mobile. Really exciting to see that. Oh, it's going to be very awesome. Um, also heard that there's that new Tomb Raider game that's getting announced at uh, uh, E3 from Ubisoft. Um, it's, not, it's not actually like a, a Tomb Raider game based on the reboot, but it's actually... Uh, a match three game. I think they're gonna, it's going to be called Tomb Raider Saga. It's really a push to broaden the market for games. It's really exciting. It's going to be coming to mobile, tablet, tablet, mobile, iPad, pod, droid, androids. I'm really excited about that. That's going to be pretty exceptional. An infamous second grandson is coming out. It's really exciting. Really cool. I'm gonna go away for part three. E3 has been really exciting this year. Uh, I love that re that new gardening game coming up from Dice. I'm really excited for uh, Mira's Hedge. <laughs> oh. <laughs>